Hey guys, Easy Science here. Studying for an exam or just learning for fun, you've come to the right place. Today's topic is density. You might have heard a lot about density or used it in your everyday life. It's an important subject, and but sometimes you just don't know enough about it or you just need to go deeper into it. All substances have different density, like water or oil. Density is a measurement that compares the amount of matter an object has to its volume, so it's basically a ratio. Let me say it more simply, in a more simpler way. So it basically means how much something takes up space, let's say a cubic meter, and then how much there is in that so like a block of wood let's say you would measure the volume of the block of wood and then you check how much matter there is in it by matter they mean how much stuff there is in it matter is the building block of the universe so the more stuff tightly packed into a volume specific volume the more dense it becomes like in this diagram shown here things with high density are tightly packed and not much space between like an iron nail below density there is less there it's loosely packed in a specific space or in the same space as the high density thing but there's less matter in it for example an example in life would be this experiment with the graduated cylinder and different fluids the top fluid would be oil you could, and then the bottom one before that could be water. Since oil has a lower density than water, it floats on top. But if you put a nail into the water, it would sink very easily, for it has a way bigger density than water. Density is defined or labeled with the Greek letter rho, or it could be used with the Latin letter D capital D. The formula, mathematical formula for density, would be rho, or density, is equal to mass divided by its volume. So like before, mass is how much matter there is, or how much it weighs, and volume is how much space it takes up. Let me give you an example. Our example in this would be water. Its density, following the formula, is one gram the mass divided by cent one centimeter cubed which is the volume it could also be represented by kilograms per cubic meter so kg per meter cubed there are two main also types of densities that I want to talk about first one is relative density Basically, the row of object or density of your object that you chose versus divided by density of your reference object. So what does this mean? This is just a ratio between two specific objects or things that you chose that you want to compare in density. For example, let's say we have, so our first ratio we're measuring is aluminum so it's 2.7 grams per centimeter cubed the second one is zinc 7.13 grams per centimeter cubed this would be the relative density of aluminum and zinc so basically just comparing them I'll show you the second one now the second one is specific density it's basically a comparison with density of a substance that you chose and then density of the water H2O if you didn't know so this is basically used to compare and see if your substance that you chose is lighter or heavier than water it's if it's above one then it's heavier than water it's bigger than one heavier but if it's smaller than one then it's lighter. Here, let's see our first example. So, aluminum and H2O. 
which is water. So as we can see, 2.7 is larger than 1 gram, and they're the same volume. So it has about 2.7 times more mass in a cubic centimeter, or anything, than water. Even represent it as aluminum have its atoms like this here. Water will be more spaced out, will be more free moving. Two. So in any case, aluminum is 2.7 times more heavier than H2O, or has a 2.7 times bigger density than water. Okay, let's say you have a block of aluminum, right? Not the best block, but it looks like one. So, how first let's measure the density, or if we want to measure the density, we need to know the volume. So if you don't know how to measure volume, okay, let's give some dimensions. Six for the length here. This one before for the width and this uh, let's do three for height okay here Make better like that so volume is pretty diverse in how to measure it depends really by the shape you've chosen in this case we have a rectangular prism and the formula for that would be L length multiplied by width multiplied by height or area of base multiplied by height let me do it in the proper form so in our case let's do exactly that length 6 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 will be 24 multiplied by 3 will be equal to 72 centimeters or let's say we did this in meters so it will be meters cubed that looks like an N meters cubed but re always remember this is just one of the ways to find uh, volume or just because you could also use the many different formulas like volume of a square it's more complicated than just multiplying a lot of terms you have to understand what exactly you're doing so in conclusion we found what density meant the formula for density what the things or labels in the formula represented we saw density of multiple objects like water, aluminum, and zinc. We found what relative density was, a ratio between two matters or substances, and specific density, a relative ratio or ratio between a substance and water to see if it's heavier. Thank you for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment for future videos that I should post. And uh, if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe and message me if you want, if you have any recommendations for me. So have a nice day and see you later. Easy Science out.